see a juice. So with OJ passing, got a little nostalgic. Everybody remembers where they were the night that, you know, he's riding around in the Bronco. I was at the wharf. No, I was at, where was I? On Pratt Street. I don't even remember where I was. I was at a bar. The court case. Wasn't that the first one that everybody watched? For weeks, we all watched it. The glove. Anyway, I've got his football cards. Because I found some very interesting names, you know. Bill Sims. Earl Campbell. Remember that guy? That guy was a beast. Was Reggie McKenzie the guy that blocked for OJ? And Deerdorf? <laughs> Looks like a real athlete, doesn't he? He was a great football announcer for many years. These two guys will forever be linked. Very famous clip. Most of you probably don't know the names in it. Joe Pasarjic. All he had to do was kneel down on the ball. Game was over. Instead, he handed it off and he fumbled it. And Herman Edwards, who's a ESPN guy, got up and ran, ran in for a touchdown to end the game. Jack Tatum. This guy was scary. He hit Daryl Stingley and the guy was paralyzed. There's a book about him that I read. Yeah, I read it. The Assassin. Pretty interesting book. All right, Skins fans, there you go. There's your Joe Theismann. Billy White Shoes Johnson. They were even bad at nicknames back then when I was a kid. Jim Marshall. You know why he's famous? For running the wrong way and scoring a touchdown. There he is. Obviously, towards the end of his, end of his career, he's not with the Bills here. It's a weird day, isn't it? Lots of weird days lately. I don't know which side you guys are on, but I guess we'll never really know, will we? Peace.